Yeah, hey folks, uh, my name is Ben Olson. I'm a product manager on Teams Modern Workplace Transformation. I'm gonna give you an overview of our new virtual appointment graph API. Thanks for uh, having me this morning. So we've been seeing a lot more use of Teams online meetings in these kind of new business to consumer B2C scenarios. They span a bunch of different industries. Um, we've all probably had some sort of uh, online B2C meeting that we've done in the past two years. Um, but the needs of that end consumer are a little bit different than the standard Teams meeting. So for example, a patient joining a telehealth visit might not have the Teams client installed on their phone, which can be a big friction point for getting the visit completed and might attrition out. So my team for the past two years has been developing a number of features kind of to enhance the consumer side of the B2C workflow uh, for Teams. And this includes a browser joint experience so the customer doesn't have to download the Teams client, an enhanced waiting room with kind of industry messaging that's a little bit more friendly than the standard Teams lobby that we have kind of on this call, uh, and SMS appointment reminders to reduce no-shows. So until now, these three features and a few others were only available to Teams users that use our first party kind of scheduling SaaS products, which are bookings or the EHR connector, which is very specific to, uh, to healthcare. But starting next month, we're exposing these features over a new graph layer uh, with a new CRUD API. So the virtual appointment graph API is gonna allow developers to create, manage, and embed these Microsoft hosted Teams virtual appointments created through Graph. And they're gonna have the same features that you just saw with B2C. So that mobile browser join, the waiting room, and a few more. This is especially important for scenarios um, when you want to have virtual appointments, but you wanna bring your own scheduling system. So until today, you only could use our first party scheduling system, but with this new virtual appointment Graph API, you can bring your own application, scheduling system, whatever you want, and using the Graph API, create these hosted virtual appointments. So let me just jump into what a sample API request might look like. Uh, so this API is built on top of the online meeting API, if you folks are familiar with that. We're initially supporting delegated permissions. And then once you pass us that online meeting ID, we create a new virtual appointment resource. Inside this virtual appointment resource, we store a bunch of new properties. Uh, and there'll be more information in the documentation, but you can store that kind of client who is like that end consumer in the B2C, so like the patient in the telehealth scenario. You can store their name, their email, and their phone number. We also have properties to store the external appointment ID and then the URL of that external scheduling system to capture that resource. So the big difference with this API is in the response we return a separate client join web URL link. And this is kind of like the big differentiator here is so your providers, so the you know doctors in the telehealth scenario can still use the standard online Teams meeting link to join so they can stay in Teams with their normal workflow. But when you click this new client join web URL, that's when you get the kind of uh, enhanced B2C experience. And I'll kind of walk through that real quick. So when you click on that new link that we return, these folks hit this kind of browser join link, so they don't need to have the Teams client installed on their phone or desktop. We have a slightly different onboarding where audio and video is on by default. We've gotten a lot of feedback from you know, customers and partners that sometimes these C2 users have trouble getting their audio and video. And this kind of helps just streamline a little bit. In the third screenshot, we have some industry messaging. So if you're uh, in the healthcare scenario, it says like your provider bill will be with you shortly. If you're in the retail scenario, it says your shopper. Uh, and it's just a little bit more friendly to let folks know that their appointment's going to start soon and they're in the right place and they have everything enabled by default. So it's just a little bit more friendly than just sitting in the lobby that, you know, we would have on this team's chat. These are mostly mobile screenshots, but we also support desktop as well. So if your folks are joining from their desktop, that'll work just fine. So where we are right now, uh, the, the public preview for graph, so the beta endpoint will be available pretty soon in a few weeks in July 2022. Application permission support is something that we've heard from a lot of partners and ISVs. That's something you want that's coming in the second half here of 2022. So delegated permissions are supported in the public preview and then application permissions will kind of fast follow in the year. Um, just to reiterate, this is for developers that want to use the virtual appointments with kind of an existing scheduling system and you get all of that B2C functionality. And like I said, the beta endpoint is going to be available in the next few weeks. 
I'll throw a link in the chat if you want to sign up to be notified. You don't have to sign up to test. Uh, this is just to get an email when the actual beta endpoint will be available. So we think we have a few minutes left. If fo any folks on the call have, have any questions? I didn't see at least questions related on the virtual appointment. Can we go back on a few slides? So just a recap on things. Uh, so the, the 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 mobile, this is really for then for the mobile or from desktop for the customers as an end users joining on the meeting. And then uh, basically the idea is that you as a host person, you are using Microsoft Teams. Is that how the system works? Yeah, exactly. So as the host, you can use the standard Teams client and join the meetings just like usual. But this new link for the mobile browser join is really for the, the C2 end user, so the patient or the shopper, or, you know, whoever that might be. Um, and it yeah. really allows them to not have to download the Teams client. And then it's just a little bit slightly more friendly interface for them to engage with. But yeah, exactly right. Providers can use the standard Teams experience in the client. And then this join is for the kind of the C2 users. Cool. How, how does that work? I, I, I'm asking the question because nobody is asking the questions. Uh, how does that work in the, there's one maybe question in a second. How does that work from a scheduling perspective? So is the API then the way how you schedule these or is there something what you can do in Teams? How does it work in practice if I'm the doctor sending or a person who's sending this anyway? Yeah, so if you want uh, to schedule Teams, we have like a bookings app that you can use. This Graph API is more for if you schedule outside of Teams. So you want to create these like hosted virtual appointments, so this screenshot, um, but you want to integrate this directly in your scheduling system outside of, of, of Teams. So we return those two separate links. One is the standard online Teams meeting link that that provider joins, and then the second is uh, this client join link. And so you can display that anywhere in your application that you've developed. But yeah, this is primarily for if you have your own scheduling system and you wanna embed it there. So anybody like, let's say, if somebody is cutting people's hair that, that, or creating those kind of solutions for scheduling, they could actually integrate using this virtual meeting API model to their system. That's yeah. really the sweet spot. Yeah, exactly. Cool. This is actually really, really cool. And that that there's a lot of opportunities then for partners and ISVs to start using this on top of their existing experience. Really, really cool stuff. Now, quickly checking questions. Am I missing questions? Can we customize the logo, color, and background on the client side? Yeah, so that is actually coming in the second half of this year. So for the public preview, it's just some standard industry messaging that says um, that changes the words a little bit. But yeah, in the second half of the calendar year 2022, you'll be able to customize the logo and any of the text in this kind of third screenshot here. Cool. And then there was a question, can the host record the session? So is it fully like Teams feature session? Yeah, so it's the nice thing is this is built on top of online meetings. So yeah, the host can record the session. And then if you also want to restrict the recording, that kind of stuff. So yeah, anything that's supported in a current online meeting teams meeting that you would create is supported here as well. So yes, you can definitely record. And I think there's another question here. Can we create voice only virtual appointments yep. to save the video? Yeah, so you can you can also force the video off on the online meeting teams meeting. So yeah, that that would be supported as well. Now, would you Ben know already that is the virtual app HIPAA compliance? That's basically whatever. What what's HIPAA is accessibility? Ha, I can't remember. It's the it's the healthcare compliance. Oh, yeah. that one. Yes, that one. Yeah. Healthcare information protection, privacy, something yes. like that. Yeah, totally. So yeah, th this will be HIPAA compliant for the uh, for the preview. Yep. I guess that's all the pending questions for now. We can have still questions on on the on the chat. Uh, pricing is a good question. Let's let's close on that one, and then I'll I'll close up the call after that. Any any thoughts on pricing and licensing on using this? Yeah, so virtual appointments is included in almost all the M three sixty five licenses, like Brian said. Uh, some of the premium API, so customizing the logo, might be monetized, but that is still uh, in in process of what the, the pricing is going to be. But for the public preview and the beta endpoint, there's there's no pricing attached. Excellent. Thank you, Ben, on that one. Really, really cool. That that actually opens up a lot of interesting opportunities for 
integrating the, the, the meeting experience in, in any external solution. So really, really cool stuff. Thank you.